Okay. Hi. I have my top tips on Epcot for you. Um, our top rides are Soaring and Living with the Land. Those go hand in hand. Um, we also, we try to ride those first thing in the morning. We love the Grand Fiesta Tour in the Mexico Pavilion. And we love Frozen and we love Test Track. So uh, we don't do Mission Space because of the virtual reality. kind of makes me sick. And um, we do go visit the aquarium. It is the second largest aquarium the, um, in the country at um, Epcot. It is second only to the, um, the Atlanta or the Georgia Aquarium, I think, in Atlanta. And so, um, but we do like that. That's over in the Finding um, Nemo and Friends area. But pavilion favorites, Mexico Pavilion, we love it. The Morocco Pavilion, we love to explore and get around to the back of. The uh, church at the uh, Norway Pavilion is amazing. Make sure you check that out. And then um, both Japan and China have great uh, like water feature areas. And if you want to know about Disney in China, check out the China Pavilion because they show you what they have over there. That's kind of fun especially for the Disney fans. Uh, Germany has a great train village nearby that's fun to look at. And then, um, oh, Japan. If you want, if you want Japanation stuff, you gotta go to the Japan gift shops. They're so much fun. Um, and then, let's see, I said Morocco. We also, oh, France. France, okay. France and the UK. They are separated by the English Channel and um, they're fun to explore. Uh, France, if you want to get away from people, go down to the area by the water. There's a, not a lot of people there. It's a great way to escape the crowds. And then the UK, there is a, um, oh darn it, what's it called? A hedge maze. <laughs> and that's pretty much our favorite thing at Epcot is the hedge maze. And so um, I highly re recommend you going there. Canada walk to the back, walk all the way around. They have a cool area to walk by waterfalls and like you feel like you're kind of in between rocks and the um, the circle vision show is there is amazing. So uh, we usually hit soaring. I think I said this, we usually hit soaring and living with the land on the way in and test track on the way out of the park. You can do it in reverse. And then also the figment ride is kind of old school and cheesy, but it is nostalgic and it is Epcot. So that's it. Grab a Joffrey's coffee before you leave and um, enjoy Epcot.